Anyway. Really quite fantastic settings right now. Yeah, really interesting first night, seeing all the fans from different countries, different cultures. Now we're just chilling, sleeping. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay, so today is the big day. Match day, very, very excited. It's actually really hot today, just to see how the players deal with that. This is quite extreme heat. We're heading off to the stadium in the uh, match day area now. Let's get an Uber, let's get it moving. See you later. Okay, so we're walking through this rather enchanted garden on our way to go collect the tickets. I don't understand how they spent so much money on this World Cup, yet the apps are completely terrible. <laughs> Not great, but hey, we've got to go and collect these tickets at the Doha Exhibition Center. Well ahead of kickoff, of course, as we always say, leaving margins of error. They ain't believe in us. God did. So we just had absolute mayhem and chaos at the ticketing centre. Literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of people trying to get their tickets. Many of which are obviously trying to get into the same game as us. No organisation and what's funny is in some cultures around the world, queues don't really exist. So you had people trying to jump in and then because they were trying to jump in, the people were telling them off and because they were telling them off, they weren't actually you know, doing their job and done with it and getting people in. Finally, after much deliberation, literally spending an hour negotiating, hustling, talking to different people. When I sat at the desk, they had the audacity to say, yeah, you don't, you don't have tickets. <laughs> Obviously, we put that straight and uh, here we are. Got the job done, tickets in hand, and we're about 10 minutes away from the stadium now. So hopefully there's no problems and issues there. Everything's pretty smooth. Job done, really looking forward to the game now. Really want some food and yes, very stressful, but at the end of the day, it's all about how you handle stress and deal with the problems and problem solve on the fly. Very, very important skill yeah. is to have that hustle, not necessarily accept yeah, what just someone tells you because sometimes these people who just tell you things aren't necessarily competent and they don't really know what they're doing themselves. And ultimately, they're just there to make their own lives easier and their own jobs easier by just saying, oh yeah, go that way. And then they hope you go away and that's one less person to worry about, right? So stick to your guns, think on your feet, stay sharp, push it for what you want, it gets you what you want. Stadium. Everything's all fine. The atmosphere is building up. Really, really lovely stadium. Look. It's actually one of the oldest here in Qatar. But time to get some food. Time to get set up, seated. We've got about an hour till kickoff. Watch the warm-ups. Obviously, a bit of a banana skin fixture. You never know what Iran are going to bring. But yeah, ultimately, we should get the job done. See what happens. The first half in the bag, really, really strong performance from England. 3-0 up already. Great goals, great teamwork. I think the formation is looking fantastic, to be honest. Very attacking, very confident. They're not really messing about and uh, taking any chances here with what could be a banana skin Iran fixture. I think, uh, to be honest, Bellingham's running the show a bit in midfield. Rice is looking solid. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the second half. Hopefully, more of the same. We'll get some subs on, get Foden, some of the other boys on, see what they can do. But yeah, couldn't have asked for more, man. Unreal performance, the stadium's lively. 
Surprisingly, actually, the Iranian fans are almost as loud or if not louder than the England fans. But yeah, a really good game. I think the second half is going to be more of the same. Should hopefully finish 5 0 England. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Job done, got a bit of shopping in, can't go wrong. Some key memorabilia that it will keep for years. I still have a t-shirt actually from the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Got to keep those relics, those little treasures to remember. Fantastic experiences by, a really good day. Really happy that the tickets got solved. I think it's a bit of a controversy at the moment. It's all over the news that a lot of people didn't get to go in. And having been at the game, there was a lot of empty seats do think a lot of people didn't get their tickets. It just goes to show you I'm really happy with that hustle that we got the job done earlier because otherwise we wouldn't have ended up with tickets and we'd have wasted a whole trip to the other side of the world for no reason. But fantastic game, great score, 6-2, eight goals to see, plenty of action, got a lot of subs in as well so we got to see the full squad. And yeah, I'm really excited for England's prospects this World Cup. I do think they're going to struggle in the quarterfinals but hey, let's see what happens. This is, like I said, a really strong squad. It's in the middle of the season unlike previous World Cups when you know the players have typically been a bit tired after a long 60 game Premier League campaign, Champions League, everything else. Right now the players are sharp, they're fit, in shape, you know, they're ready to go. I think that England got a really good chance. One to 11 and the squad itself, they've got options. I think mean, they play as confidently as they did today. Probably keep the 4-3-3. I think they'll do really well. <laughs> So, sit rep, uh, that brings an end to our trip here in Doha. Fantastic game yesterday, eight goals, couldn't have asked for more. Uh, England played really well and hopefully that's the start of many more performances at that level for the rest of the tournament. Let's see when it gets a bit more crunchy in the quarterfinals in the last 16, providing we get through, which we should do now that Wales and USA have drawn. So, good experience all round. I think the media overplay a lot of the problems here. They talk a lot of nonsense and sensationalise a lot of the kind of minute things that aren't really a problem and actually pay much attention to things that really are a problem. So overall, I think uh, Doha has been a great place, you know, it's really built up. They, you can see the work they've done, you know, the infrastructure and everything else. They've really invested in the transport links and the roads. It was of a very high standard. They really put on a show. The stadium was absolutely on point. The lights and the show and the overall ambiance of it. Um, surprisingly, the Iranian fans were probably a bit louder than the English fans, but I think that's probably largely due to that famous, well, infamous alcohol ban which to be honest i think is a good thing but all in all fantastic trip really really worthwhile experience definitely a, a once in a lifetime one you know flying around the world get putting it all together getting the tickets getting it all done uh, traveling to a foreign land and yeah ultimately watching what was kind of a one-off game really you don't really get eight goal games in football so to watch that you know couldn't ask for more amazing trip let's go to the airport for you a wonderful place like so far in front of the rest of uh, europe or the west 
The people are so nice. They're really uh, friendly. Every sign is, is in English and in Arabic. Really, everything's thought out. Perfectly. How was the match yesterday? The match yesterday? I think England got tougher tests to come, but they did their best and they did a great job. Yeah, fine. Apparently, this teddy costs seven mil. If that's true, that is a joke. <laughs> Quite straight. Doesn't really look like a teddy. Yeah, about that. Anyway. We're told to go to France with a... Uh, 